Hey y'all, welcome back for another video. So glad that you could join me today on this lovely December Monday. So we are going to be taking a look at Eugenia's latest live stream. This occurred on December 10th. And uh, I just want to say to anyone and everyone that was able to hang out with me during the live on Saturday night, oh, uh, Thank you for being there. That was so much fun. I had a blast. I think of all the live streams I've done on YouTube, which, you know, I've been on here like two years now. That was the most fun. That was the most memorable. So I think everybody who was there and everybody that watched the rerun, we had a blast. The name Jordy cannot be typed in Eugenia or Jeffrey's chat anymore, to my knowledge. <laughs> I just think that's hysterical. So we are going to be continuing on with our regularly scheduled programming. Not too sure if there is anything that goes on in this that is going to be too exciting. But, you know, as always, we'll go through it. We'll go through it. Uh, where do we start? Oh, gosh, him again. No, 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 no. Uh-uh. No, 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 no. Not Cowboy Man. All right. Where does this start? All right, around around here-ish. Love you. See you later. Love you, Hillbilly. See you later. Much love. <laughs> Jeffrey, I can never thank you enough. Oh, my gosh. Seriously, you are like so amazing. I can. <laughs> this, this is how we're beginning the episode. You know, Eugenia, you say that you can't thank Jeffrey enough. I disagree. I think that you can thank Jeffrey enough, and I think that you do. <laughs> I have about 30 hours of footage showing that you can thank Jeffrey enough. <laughs> never say thank you enough like for real like <laughs> all right let's see who else might want to battle let's see we could try esme she might battle she's on okay let's we're gonna have to do we'll, we'll do randoms oh someone random requested me he actually accept. hi melody hi how are you hey, i like your christmas hat thanks it jingles i'm here for it yeah, sure. I do it. I love it, actually. Those are so cool. Usually I do like a different Christmas makeup every day, but I kind of slacked today. Well, I mean, I did one earlier, but then I wiped it off. That's really, really cool. Christmas makeup will be so fun with like, you know, the Christmas colors and everything. So you do a lot of makeup and stuff then? Yeah, the problem is, is that my skin's really sensitive. And so I can only wear it for so long before I'm like, get it off. And so... <laughs> <laughs> oh no oh no did so okay here's here's how this conversation started eugenia was going to do a live with someone on her friends list but no one would accept her invitation so she went and accepted an invitation from someone random just some random tiktok user uh girl enters battle or live stream or whatever this is i don't know if they're battling and immediately eugenia asks this person oh so uh do, do you like makeup huh? what, what are your thoughts on uh cosmetics just just curious i i don't know just you know making conversation i'm making conversation is, is makeup something that interests you by chance well yeah she replies um, I, I do, I do like makeup. It's just, you know, my, my, my skin's kind of sensitive. This is going to lead into a conversation of Eugenia trying to sell this, this woman Jeffree Star stuff or turn her on to it, or she's going to take this as an opportunity that she created out of thin air to push Jeffree Star cosmetics onto her. I guarantee this is where this is headed like good pro like you know i always try to like use good products like i use a lot of like the jeffree star cosmetics like his yeah, makeup is the best have you, have you do you use his makeup too i've been wanting to try it i've been yeah, really wanting to try really it good. also like if you if you're into skincare like his new coffee collection i'm telling you it's like the best i just thought something about that earlier isn't there like a caffeine like eye thing and yes, face stuff 
Oh, that's so cute. Thank you with the money gun. Yeah, like it's caffeine, a lot of stuff that's like really great for your skin. And since I've, I've gotten it, like I've been like using it like nonstop. It's so good. I only just started taking care of my skin. I never was like a skincare girly and then I just started. And now I actually noticed like when I don't do it, I feel kind of like I'm actually getting there. I'm actually like, you know, do, do I like it now? Am I a skincare girl now? Well, definitely once you kind of get in the habit of doing it, I feel like you definitely like, you gotta stick with it then. Then it's like, if you don't do it, you feel so weird. Like, like not doing it. But yeah, if you're looking for, and he, like this coffee collection, there's like a lip oil. There's like a. Uh, I mean, have you ever had someone come to your front door and try to sell you something? Or someone that you went to high school with 10, 20 years ago hit you up on Facebook, say, hey, how you doing? And then it turns into some MLM pitch. This is exactly it right now. Out of thin air, Eugenia brings up the topic of skincare and makeup and then immediately starts shoving all these products in her webcam. <laughs> oh my gosh. I mean, just can we for once just have a conversation? I, I mean, seriously, when we were taking a look at the live stream from yesterday and it was the woman who was on here talking about how she fosters cats and everything, I was like, wow, this is a actual conversation that we're having. And it was it was crazy because Eugenia was terribly uninterested. I'm like the one time that something of substance is being communicated on here, Eugenia cuts it off like w within three minutes. But I I'm guessing because this girl is allowing Eugenia to bulldoze the conversation with more Jeffrey talk, this is going to go on for like an hour. Face setting spray, like lots of great stuff. So I bet you'd love it. it, it that's that's that, um, I need to try his uh, eyeshadows and stuff too. I really want to, I really, I'm addicted to shadow palettes. Yo, thank you guys. Guys, we got doubles coming up. So here we go, everyone. Oh my gosh, you're wearing Powerpuff Girls. Yes, are you into Powerpuff? Oh my gosh, I was obsessed with the redheaded oh one. Oh my gosh, Sam, they're. Hmm. This is like day three or day four of Powerpuff. We've been seeing a lot of Powerpuff. Do we think that because we called out the prophecy of the Santa baby lingerie going on for the next month, she said to herself, well, I can't give them what they want, or I can't give them what they're expecting, so I'm going to do Powerpuff. Will we be getting Powerpuff for the remainder of December instead of Santa baby lingerie? Only time will tell. But she seems to be really pushing the Powerpuff arc. I'll always love them, honestly. <laughs> Gen X Renegade, Brittany! Oh my gosh, you guys with the live fest clappers. Oh, the clappers. Oh, the old with the money gun. Oh, thanks, man. Let's go. Oh, Gen X with the love you. Oh my gosh, guys, this is a close one. I'm low key like I'm low key excited that you accepted. I was just like, uh, you know, I'll request just in case, and then you accepted. I was like, oh hi. <laughs> Killing it over there. Oh my gosh. Magic. Magic is because of magic lasagna. I'm not even gonna lie. I'm not even gonna lie. <laughs> Let's go, magic. Man. Oh man. Oh my gosh. Man. You guys definitely got a strong team over there. Jeez. That's so crazy. <laughs> you jingled the bells. By the way, guys. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm like trying so hard not to be too. Oh my gosh. It's on his farm? Yeah, they're so oh. cute. So, there's also like these really No way. You're joking. So the cosmetics weren't enough. She couldn't just show the coffee stuff or talk about the the, the makeup. She had to show the stuffed animal that's that Jeffrey sells too. I, there, there is no conversation that Eugenia can have with another person that somehow doesn't relate to pushing Jeffrey's products. Oh, look at this. I have a big yak stuffed animal. 
So if buying his new coffee line and eyeshadows and whatever isn't enough, you can also spend money on a yak plushie. Isn't that exciting, girl in strawberry hat? Oh my gosh. And yo, man, they get some advice. So I'm like, the yeah, so they're actually like, when I was in, like, I was, I was in like, like Wyoming a while ago. And actually, Jeffrey, he sells like these yaks too. Aren't they cute? Oh my gosh, I had no idea about those. Oh my gosh, <laughs> so cute. So I got like a white one. Wait, like, yeah, does that mean he has yaks on his farm? Yeah, they're so oh, cute. So, there's also like these really cute yak plushies. I literally just connected the dots there. Oh my goodness. Oh, they're super, super cool. So I love these. <laughs> Yeah, I just kind of like to, I guess, have like a bunch of like cute things around and like <laughs> stuff, dude. It was you killed it there, Melody. Oh my gosh. <sighs> All thanks to the team. All thanks to you Magic so and much. Min. You guys this went out of this crazy. Such a big thank you. Oh my gosh. Ollie Oblock, Shelly Sue. Does anyone else get. 2009 obsessed you know that movie with uh, Idris Elba and Beyonce and the blonde woman 2009 obsessed and then what was the original back in the 80s like fatal attraction does anyone kind of or are you beginning or have you been getting them all along those kind of vibes in terms of the Eugenia and Jeffrey situation right now I mean I have never seen anything like this before. I could understand if she was his assistant and, but I mean, to be pushing his products like this so heavily, I, I mean, it's like the core of her being. This is her reason for wanting to thrive or do anything in life. It is the end all be all as Jeffree Star. I've just never seen anything like this. Yo, uh, magic. Everyone hype up magic in the chat. Everyone hype up magic in the chat. All things man, fistful. Me too. So whatever, whatever you're feeling, it's a lot of fun. But I also totally get that it's kind of been going on. Like, it's kind of a it's like, I had one day, like, kind of before videos before that. But I guess to like the whole like TikTok. Jenix um, uh, Renegade. Jenix Renegade, you're Oh my gosh, Ollie Oblox, you're level 35 now! Number one. I love you so much. <laughs> Thank you. Like, yeah. it is, it's so incredible. Jeffrey, I can never thank you enough. Oh my gosh, seriously. I love you so much. You can. You can thank him enough, Eugenia. So much. <laughs> thank you. MVP Jeffrey, guys, spam the emotes. Thank you so much. Ollie Oblox, Gen X Renegade Peeps. Um, gadge puts. It's Brit. Wait, wait, wait. How do I do it? How do I do it? <laughs> I'm like, Envy! I'm just chilling. I was literally like, buddy. <laughs> Thank you so much, Ollie Oblox. You're so amazing. Gen X, Renegade, Peeps. If you men, all things men, everyone check out all things men. Seriously. M okay, so I think that it'll end soon because the sequence of this battle so far has been push Jeffrey products, talk about Live Fest thank audience, move on to next person. It's like an assembly line. We're going to move on to the next person. Hey, uh, have you ever wanted coffee skincare? Is it, I, I don't know, just random conversation I can make with you right now. Uh, is that interesting? What, what, what are your thoughts on that? Oh, sounds interesting. Well, do I have something cool to tell you? I, I mean... Like someone coming to your front door and trying to sell you Avon in the early 2000s. I, I mean, <laughs> except they're sitting on a pink couch and it's online. I can't believe it. That is crazy. Yeah, I literally, when I got on, I thought uh, Jeffrey was on live because I watch his lives all the time. Oh, I guess I am. I was like watching him earlier. And um, I'm you know that one scene from Mean Girls? It's toward the end of the movie when Katie Heron has become a bitch. And she's standing in the lotion store that Janice Ian works at. 
and she's applying lip gloss and it's a little bit of like inner monologue and it says she's saying to herself I uh, was spending all my time thinking and talking about Regina George. And the time that I wasn't thinking and talking about Regina George, I was praying that someone would bring up Regina George so I could talk about her some more. (laughs) Is that Mean Girls being like redone or something into a musical? Is that out yet? I think that's out. If, it, if it's not out already, it's coming soon, I think. So happy for him, like, with everything. You know, like, doing so good, like, like doing so good in the tournament, in the live fest. It's like, honestly, he deserves it, I think, like, more than anybody. So I so up to see that for him always. Why? Why does someone with a, a, a nine-figure net worth deserve internet points for some silly little competition on here for a platform compromised mostly, comprised mostly of 20-year-olds? <laughs> like, like, what does some beauty guru pushing 40 have to do to deserve this, this live fest ranking? He's so deserving of it. He's Oh, you know what's another thing she loves to do on here is she loves to say that he makes TikTok a better place. He's a good addition to the platform. He does a lot for TikTok. <laughs> like what? Pushes his products so people spend more money on it? What, what does Jeffrey do? Threaten to beat people up? <laughs> I just like trust everything he has to say about makeup because... Like, he's just so honest about it. I'm like, okay, I appreciate that. I appreciate that. I kind of feel like, you know, there's some people on TikTok and that you, you can't really always trust what they say. You know, it's kind of like you don't know if some of these companies are just kind of like paying them and they're just kind of going along with it. And it's like, I've always loved that about Jeffrey. You know, that he's like so honest with everything. Like his makeup reviews, they're always like the one, the, the ones that I trust. You know, you know he's gonna tell you the yeah, truth. Something is bad. I'm like this sucks, and I'm like, thank you. Yeah, it's like, just it's thank so you. Like, you want to like watch somebody? Like in my opinion, like why? Would- this girl is gonna have a quirky overload or something. I, I, I'm not really getting her vibe right now. But because she is someone random that requested Eugenia to be on there, when you request, you know, someone that has millions and millions of followers, if you're able to get into a live with them, if they accept your invitation, this now becomes an opportunity for girl and strawberry hat. Girl in Strawberry Hat is thinking to herself, oh, I have to get in the good graces of this person that has millions of followers because if I can be seen with her and I can kind of get her approval and I can come on here more, uh, that means that I could get more followers and then in return make more money. So Eugenia could be talking about anything right now and this girl would be kissing and you know eating up everything that Eugenia has to say because it indirectly makes her more money you want to like watch someone is just kind of gonna like you know lie to you and like tell you something's good if it isn't actually good you know what i mean that person that's gone to the store and bought like 10 different things and had to return them because they were not all what was described and i'm like i can't i can't i can't it's like nothing like the product it's like it's oh that's why it's like it's so much better when people are just like honest absolutely absolutely yo let's insane Oh my gosh, we are number two. Thank you guys. Oh, it's her B extra point. I don't gift her that. The mini game for life. The fireworks to earn votes. Exactly, Ollie. Yes. But it helps us in community favorites. Randy, thank you with the heart me. Remember to press that daily heart me up there, guys. Also, I think that double tapping the screen and everything. Thank you guys now. But honestly, you guys. <gasps> Those were such crazy battles. That was so insane. Okay, I don't think he's in here right now. But honestly, you guys, oh my gosh. I can never thank Jeffrey enough for everything tonight. Like, this has been, like, the craziest night. Um, I honestly cannot believe that we are number one in regionals right now. Guys, I was thinking... She's going to make it to the e-begging global finals. I mean, she might not get the invitation to L.A., but the global finals, wherever those might be held, they may have to invite her. If she keeps ranking number one and everything. 
like okay maybe tonight we could get to like top 50 perhaps like maybe if i go live for a little bit the fact that we're number one right now and we're daily like 82 i'm just like i am like shocked you guys i cannot believe it um i'm so thankful like i'm so grateful for everything <laughs> zeke did it thank you so much with the heart me like honestly you guys this has been like one of the craziest nights ever and um I just like can't even find words enough to like say thank you like oh my gosh like I was really like in never expecting like any of this tonight guys I'm gonna put some music back on guys while we're live you know um and, and thank you everyone everyone that's been so If sitting in your room asking and encouraging people to send you in animal emojis that equal a dollar amount that some Chinese company ends up taking 60% of anyway is one of the best nights of your life. Uh, we, we got it. I mean, and you know what? That, that's not, Eugenia's traveled. Eugenia's family has money. She has access and opportunities. I mean, this is the best night of your life. Out of anything else you've ever done, this. Recording tonight, um, everyone that's been being like, like so amazing and helping us out here tonight, guys. Like I was never, like literally, never expecting like any of this. <laughs> so oh, like, oh, literally, guys, like craziest night ever. I did used to have braces. Yes, everyone, I did. When I was younger, I had braces. They're awful when you have them. They're not fun, but hey. You know, they're worth it in the end. Not that my teeth are perfect, but they're a lot better than they used to be. Let's say hi to Vanessa. Hi, Eugenia. How's your How's day? You? Great, great. I miss I you. Miss you. I miss you too. You look so cute today with like the red hair, the cute little panda ear. I'm loving the look. <laughs> uh, if you love me, can you invite me to live with you? <laughs> <laughs> yes or no? I don't really know what that is, but I'm down to invite you always. Mmm, a little direct. I mean, like, jokingly asking and then immediately saying well is that a yes or a no <laughs> oh you invite me you invite me to live with you we share the oh, bed we share the me. room oh, okay then you said liverdale i was like what's that but yeah well i got bad news for you vanessa you're gonna be sharing that pink couch no bed you can come live with me vanessa of course yeah we can't we can't oh we can do each other's makeup you do my makeup i do your makeup damn i would love that i like the makeup today like oh my gosh the red and black i love it yeah, I love yours too. Let's run a match though. I feel like you're really like smoky eye today. I always really like to do like the dark eyes. So yeah. we're perfectly matched tonight. Yeah, let's do a match. Let's do it. Let's battle. Eugenia, I can't. Eugenia, which city are you living in right now? So I live in Connecticut. I'm like Connecticut. Oh, oh I hope one day I uh, I can visit you and we can. I can't imagine we we hang out and oh my god. Where, where do you live again? She's really pushing this. Let's meet up in person thing. Hmm. Th three times. Three. We, we've only been online with her what like two minutes. Three times she's brought it up now. Vanessa. Uh, Los Angeles. Los Angeles. Okay. Well. Yeah. Definitely. Mm -hmm. Fly on over and we will have to. You know. Like, hang out, live together. It'll be great. Oh my gosh. And then we go out and have fun. Oh my gosh. Have some fun. B, thank you so much for the live best gifts. Thank you, my bacon. Eugenia, do you, do you take shots? Actually, no. I actually don't drink. I know. How oh, come? Right? So, thank you with the heart, me. How oh, come? You love Vanessa? Ryan, how are you? What's up, and you know what? I don't really drink that much either. And what really annoys me is when I used to go, well, I, I don't go, so, go out so much anymore, but when I used to go out with friends and stuff, it was always like the goal was like, oh, let's get Jordy to drink. 
we know that he doesn't really like to drink, so let's make it our goal to get him to do a shot. Let's put let's put him in the, the limelight here. To, to, it's just that that annoys. It's it is a pet peeve of mine, definitely. Why do you care if someone else doesn't drink? It's like why 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 is the default that you you consume alcohol? I mean, this girl's looking at Eugenia right now, like like eyes widening. Like, how come? Why don't you don't drink? Like, ugh, just pet peeve of mine. Sorry, I'm I'm letting my my personal things in, involve in here. It just it just annoys me. <laughs> Why don't you drink? It, what do you care? Damn. I you I thought you were bad. You're a bestie of with uh Jeffrey, but Jeffrey definitely drink, right? Jeffrey drink either actually neither of us actually drink yeah both of us like we're, we're actually two people that actually don't drink oh my gosh no. i like pretty crazy. yeah i as, as for me actually i don't like drinking though but um really? but if, if the if if i'm in a party they ask me what what <laughs> this is such a whirlwind of a conversation why don't you drink how come you don't drink? What? Jeffrey doesn't drink either? Well, you know what? I actually don't drink myself. <laughs> what? <laughs> Me to do so, I, I will do that. Mm -hmm. Got you. So you're kind of like an occasional drinker. Yes. yes. Nice. I got you. Mm -hmm. That makes sense. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and you go crazy, party, like go insane. Let's see if we can get two more roses, guys, or five fest points. All right, guys, we got it. Yes. Please don't teach her about. Oh she, no! She... What did I want to teach me? Did she? she did she need me to teach her? Wait, everybody, we are. To teach me. Yeah, we are adults. We can we can do whatever we want. Okay, everybody. Yeah, people can make their own choices, right? Sienna! Sienna with the clappers! Oh my gosh. And then takes a sip out of the biggest wine glass I've ever seen. I mean, I know that that was probably water, but I, is, is this a troll? Like, what what is going on right now? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> How about to stop being rude? Okay, so Eugenia, uh, normally what is your... So, what is your hobby, though? Thank you. Well, let's see. I mean, I love makeup. I've always been really into that. Um, I have a dog. I like animals. I like to spend time with him. I guess I spend a lot of time on TikTok and online. Like, Yeah, me too. Yeah. Actually, lives drain a lot of uh, energy from us. It does. Like, I think, like, sometimes people don't really realize, like, how much time and... I don't think it drains Eugenia's energy. She can do these for like 12, 16 hour sittings. She loves this. <laughs> so Eugenia, like, what do you do? What's your gig? What are your hobbies? Well, I like makeup. I'm actually surprised that that was not a segue into, by the way, <laughs> if you are looking for some new skincare products, I have a dog. I, I mean, we've seen the dog in some vlogs. Dog with a vlog. We have seen that on here sometimes, but... Mm. Do, we, do we really think that Eugenia's out playing with Buzz and walking Buzz and doing stuff with Buzz every day? Like, you know, how much people, like, put into it? Mm -hmm. it can, it's really fun, but it can definitely be, like... I think a lot more than people realize sometimes. You know, sometimes when I speak too much, uh, talk talk to, um, talk to too much in my life, and I have to get a life. I even don't need to, don't want to talk to my families or friends because I'm already so exhausted. You know. Oh my gosh! Yeah, I totally get that. Like sometimes, it <laughs> definitely can be more tiring than people realize. Like. <laughs> Yeah, sometimes when I'm done doing a 16-hour live and I see Deb and she even so much as looks at me the wrong way, I'll tell her to shut. <laughs> sometimes I get off and I'm like, mm, you know, even if I don't feel that tired, then I just kind of like lay down and it's like, okay.
Exactly. Fall asleep yeah, just, in no time. <laughs> just lay down there and you get our energy back. Exactly. It's like it can be like a lot more tiring than I think people realize sometimes. Yeah. What, what How about this, uh, Eugenia? I sing you a song, okay? Yes, please, Vanessa. I'm gonna sing a song called Flashlight. Uh, I'd mm. love to hear that. Flashlight sounds like it's just gonna like light up my world. Okay, so she wants to sing a song. So I'm under the impression that TikTok is all about promoting yourself. It is selling and monetizing popularity. So I'd imagine she said she lives in LA. This girl's probably trying to become a singer, you know, trying to be, you know, make a name for herself out there or something. I wouldn't be surprised if you could find her on Spotify or something. Let me use this opportunity of being in a live with someone that has two plus million followers and give them a little bit of a demo because who knows who's watching and who knows what connection that could lead to. It's it's just funny, like it being like really in your face. <laughs> I just I hate TikTok. You, you are you are you're lighting a lot of others world. Oh, I'm a I fell, I stop and I won't fly And I sing along, I sing along Then I sing along I go, you're my fly Thank you, you are a flashlight to a lot of others Thank you, Vanessa, you're a flashlight to a lot of people too Thank you, you. I'm trying, I'm trying so hard though <laughs> And you're doing a great job, you know, we love Hmm Eugenia Cooney is a flashlight to a lot of others in the world. Well, maybe. Maybe. I've also read that Eugenia acts or functions as a rain cloud for others. Certain demographics. People who at certain points in their life have found Eugenia Cooney on the internet and then sort of... tailored their own behaviors and habits and it sort of uh led them down a path that they really didn't want to go down so but, but yeah we can we can go with flashlight but um i don't know can also be functioning as something else love you on here so like thank you for lighting our world up singing such a beautiful song to us that was amazing you too. You're so. You're always so sweet to others. Oh, you're so sweet. <laughs> I'm gonna let you go, okay, Eugenia. Enjoy oh, your life. Thank you, by the way, to all of your box. Thank you so much, Santa, Brian, oh, Meg. Guys, I'm so. I'm like. I'm like so shook tonight that we're like number one regionals. I'm just like how. I'm so thankful. Yes, I'll be live again tomorrow, guys. Yes, for sure. I think so. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I've been on like extra where like live fest has been going on and all that. So I think so. Yes. I also think I'm going to post a new YouTube video tomorrow, guys. New TikTok video. It's crazy how often Eugenia is streaming, but she, and she seems to rank well in these things i mean granted i'd imagine the better you do is in relation to how often you're on the app that would make sense but are these people that are beating eugenia and these people that are getting invites to miami and la for example that eugenia isn't getting invited to do they sit on here for as long as eugenia does i mean do they come on here and stream for hours and hours and hours every single day like eugenia I mean, that that would be pretty aggravating to me. If I was on here as much as she is doing this every single day, ranking high, and then on top of that, the company doesn't even invite me to the event. <laughs> it's going to be a crazy one, so get ready for it. Yes, the video of my Christmas tree will actually be going up tomorrow. But I'll tell you guys, it's going to be extra crazy. So get ready. That's why I'm saying, guys, follow me on here if you haven't. Get ready to see it. Yakaninga, thank you so much for pressing that heart me up there. So she's going to be uploading a video tomorrow. 
well, by the time you're watching it today, to TikTok that's going to be extra crazy. What exactly does that entail? I don't know. Is she going to do the Christmas tree's makeup? Is the Christmas tree going to do her makeup? Are they going to do each other's makeup? Are they going to do a skincare routine with the new coffee products on each other? I can't wait to see. Thank you so much for joining my team. Nurse, thank you so much with the heart me. If you guys haven't pressed that daily heart me yet today, thank you, Lisa, with the heart me. Press the heart me, guys. Join our team. And even if you're already a member, you can level up, get cool entrance spotlights get badges. Thank you, Lisa. Thank you, Melissa. Thank you, everyone pressing that heart me. And also, guys, we're at over 300 shares now. Thank you so much, everyone double tapping. And thank you, everyone double tapping. But I, oh my I'd, God. Love, I'd love for you to take it from us. <laughs> oh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if I can do it, but you know, we'll see what happens. Congratulations to you guys on that, though. You guys seem super cool, so I'm happy for you guys with that. Thanks for the follow back, by the way. I didn't realize <laughs> that. I just saw you popped up. I'm, like, so thankful. This is so crazy. <laughs> Jeffrey, I can't thank you enough again. Like, seriously. <laughs> thank you for everything, Jeffrey. Jeffrey, whenever you're getting back on, I so got you tonight. I so want you a podium. I'm, like, for tournaments, like... Crazy is the tournament tonight. I don't know. Jeffrey, when you get on later tonight, I so got you. What does that mean? She about to drop five figures on his channel? <laughs> Six? I don't know. I, I don't know. <laughs> I'm, I'm not. Let me see. Champions tournament. Oh, you're doing good though, Jeffrey. Like, you're number seven right now. I think you so got this. It's awesome. I'm so thankful. Like, I can never say, guys, ever thank you enough to Jeffrey and to Ollie. And you guys go in so hard. I never, I was like maybe number like 50 tonight. Oh my God. Jeffrey with the around the world. Jeffrey. Oh my gosh, Jeffrey, I love you so much. Thank you. Jeffrey, you're seriously just one of the most amazing people, amazing friends ever in the world. Like, I'm really so grateful for you. Okay, so he just sent her money indirectly. You know, he sent her the, um, what, did, what did she call it? The around the world? How much is that? Around the world TikTok price. Uh... I don't know. It doesn't have it on here. Whatever. Send her money. Send her money. That translates into, you're such a good friend. <laughs> Eugenia, if someone sending you an emoji worth whatever amount of dollars on TikTok translates into, they are a good friend... That is really, really, really telling your audience, especially at age 29, that you have a warped interpretation of friendship. This is something that 12-year-olds would be doing, 13-year-olds would be doing. Oh my gosh, did you see Rebecca sent me the heart hands? That was so nice of her. I love her. She's my bestie. Did you see that Damien sent Sarah a galaxy last night? Oh, he must really like, her. like a 38 year old and a 29 year old sending emojis back to each other in like thousands of dollars that, you know, in return, some company goes in and takes like 60% of it anyway. This, this is a good friend to you. This, this, no, this is business, honey. This is, he, he is realizing and he's seeing how much you're pushing his products tonight Every night, really. And he's rewarding you for it because he knows that this is what drives you. This is what gives you pleasure. And just like as a person, like you're just seriously so amazing and so kind. And like anyone that knows you is seriously just like such a blessed person. So like, I cannot thank you enough. Like this is like, oh my gosh, like the craziest night on here. Eugenia, there are many people that beg to differ. 
Anyone who knows Jeffree Star is blessed. Okay, I don't know the word-for-word definition of blessed, like what it would come up on Webster's or whatever, but when I hear that word, I I think of divine. I think of uh, otherworldly, godlike blessings, you know, like from some type of religious context. So knowing Jeffree Star is as a result of some divine purpose blessed <laughs> just knowing him knowing him you're blessed oh good lord oh lord <laughs> yes you guys that is all i say what do you guys think i'm gonna do say anything bad never like some of you guys that say that like i would i would feel bad like if i was ever annoying him like being repetitive ever <laughs> So if he ever tells me that, then I would always try to like be like not annoying. But some of you guys in chat, I'm like, what do you guys think I'm gonna be saying? Like mean things? Like never. Why would I ever do that? To- no, no, they're not expecting you to talk badly about Jeffrey. It's just it's constant. It is. It, it's it's really really at my point in my opinion at this point, her infatuation or obsession or whatever you want to call it. With Jeffrey, it, it, it is so beyond anything that is considered appropriate or healthy or within the confines of moderation. This is too much. Way too much. Someone as amazing as him, you know? So, like, yeah. Just saying for some of you guys, like, in chat. I don't know what you guys expect. Yeah, be kind and move on. Exactly, Liz. Like... It's not that hard to just, like, you know, be nice. I'm a broken record, like I said, you guys. This is not nice. It's not hard to be nice, you guys. Just be kind. This is beyond kind. This is beyond nice. Um, 10% of what you have been communicating about Jeffrey in this live stream tonight is nice. You have taken it to a level that is concerning, in my opinion. him then i would feel really bad and i would definitely try to like change (laughs) but that is so weird that is so weird to me i understand that i'm annoying i understand that i'm a broken record i understand that i'm excessive in my praising jeffrey but so as long as he isn't annoyed by it i'm gonna keep doing it so the thousands of people that come in to watch you every night they have to listen to this over and over again. But so long as one person doesn't get annoyed with it, she's going to continue to do it. So thousands of people have to suffer just because one person may or may not give a shit that you keep praising him. Unless, like, he says that, then, you know, I would hope he knows. Like, I just really appreciate him so much and, like, And he's just an amazing person. He's one of the most amazing people I've, like, ever known. So it's like, I don't know what some of you guys, like, want me to do. And I feel like I've said this a dozen times by now, but he's one of the most amazing people I've ever known. Eugenia Cooney is someone that has came on here and told us that she has not had very many friends in her life. She's had a difficult time trusting people and, as a result, just hasn't really had companionship or, uh, you know, typical friendships that people make while they're growing up and everything and in their 20s and everything. Eugenia has her mom. She has her mom. Uh, She had Jacqueline at one point. We saw how that ended. So we're not really looking at a very large sample size here. You know, so like if we're looking at a group of six people that Eugenia could be considering friends throughout her life and Jeffrey's one of them, he's one of the most amazing, one of the most amazing people out of six people. You see, you see what I mean? You say, I'm like, you guys think I'm going to be in here saying mean things? Not happening, Okay. Your t-shirt's super cute. Thank you. It's Powerpuff Girls, guys. If you didn't know, if you don't know who the Powerpuff Girls are. (laughs) But yeah, I really love Powerpuff Girls. So, you know, I found like a Powerpuff collection. I was just kind of like, let's get the Powerpuffs. 
Um, you're so sweet. Thank you. Yes, guys, Jeffrey is a mod. So that's the other thing. If any of you guys are mean to him or ever make him feel bad or anything like that, he is always allowed to mute, ban, take care of you guys any way he wants to. Because I never want people to make him feel bad, especially. It's like, they're mean to me. Sometimes people do get really mean, but that's one thing. If they're mean to my friend... You, so basically, you don't respect yourself. You guys can come in here and trash me and shade me all you want. You can come in here and say your piece, whatever. You come in here, you say something about Jeffrey, we're going to have a problem. That's bad. That's weird. That, 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 no, that's not healthy. I don't care if you disrespect me or send me derogatory comments. You do it to Jeffrey Star, we're going to have a problem. I'm like, that's when they really need a block. That's when there's really a problem. So be nice, guys. You love the shirt. Oh my gosh, thank you. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Uh, Jeffrey is king. I agree. How's my day? Mine has been good. How's everyone's day been today? Hopefully you guys have been having an amazing day. Mojo Jojo. Mojo Jojo is like one of the best villains ever. You're beautiful. You're so sweet. Thank you. Thank you so much. Do I have pets? Yeah, I have a dog. His name is Buzz. He's the best. So yeah, he's a pug. He, he's named after Buzz. No, he's not the best, actually. He's fifth best. He came in fifth place. Remember the ribbon that we saw a couple weeks ago in the mirror? <laughs> we have we have evidence that he's not the best. He's fifth. <laughs> Buzz Lightyear, actually. Sean. Oh, Sean loved meeting me. Sean was so sweet. He was really cool. Who else is on, guys? Oh, Elmo's on. Before you guys kept being like, Battle Elmo! Wait, I think now he's in a battle, but he was on. <laughs> Let's see, Gavin's on. Let's see. Elmo! Elmo! Fight Elmo, or Battle battle Elmo, whatever you call it. <laughs> so kind of a lot of people on. I don't know if Gav Gavin's battling. I don't really know who's battling or not battling. Battle Elmo. Oh, he declined. That's okay. All right, guys, let's get our clappers going. Elmo declined. <laughs> oh my gosh. Going in here. I forgot I have to set a new clapper goal. Did I get the email? I did get the email to go to LA, you guys. Yes. Mads, thank you with the live fest clappers. I felt super bad. Barbie! <laughs> Barbie with the clappers! Thank she got the email. For, for the... Whatever this is. Live fest, regional, e-begging, global finals. She got the email. The last time this was brought up was when they were in a panel. It was uh, her, Jeffrey, Paul, and someone else I don't remember. And Paul said that he got the email. But Eugenia at that point did not. When is this LA event? Oh, Eugenia got the e I'm actually... What? L let me see. Los Angeles, TikTok, e-begging finals. Like, like, when is this? TikTok, uh, live fest competition. When is it? When is it? Mm. If you know, if you know, comment. We'll, we'll, we'll definitely be talking about this in Community Corner next episode. <laughs> she got the email. Thank you. I felt really, like, stupid. Because I actually got the email on Thursday, but for some reason I didn't get like notified. So I was like emailing the girl last night. I was like, I'm so sorry. Luckily there's still like plenty of time to like reply, but I was like, oh no. Welcome people that are new coming in by the way, everybody. Is Dev going to go? I don't think so guys. That'd be cool.
cool, I guess, but I think she's the one that needs to go. You know, people always want to see Deb. They're always just like, we need Deb on camera. She's, she's the one we want to see. Like there's a lot of Deb fans, <laughs> it seems like. So maybe I should give her my invite. I'm kind of thinking like, I don't know if fans is the right word. Deb won't go to LA with her? I'm still shook that she got the email to begin with. Now she's saying that Deb isn't going to go with her? I, I would be shook. But you know what? How would we know? Really, how would we know if Eugenia was accompanied by Deb at this event or not? I mean, how do you prove that? How do you, how do you prove that you traveled alone? <laughs> Get Deb in there. Oh my gosh, Stacy! Stacy, thank you so much for the cuddles with you. And Barbie, thank you. Barbie with the clappers. Abigail with the hearts. Oh my gosh, Abigail, thank you so much. What eyeshadow you so today, you guys? Today, Barbie, Smokey. But yeah, guys, and I post a lot of videos. I'm gonna have a new video tomorrow, guys. That's gonna be like crazy. Get ready. It's like, that's a lot of banners there. <laughs> the cremated palette comment. Guys, the cremated palette's amazing. What's wrong with me saying I use a cremated palette? It's one of the best palettes ever. Oh my gosh, Buzz. Buzz with the confetti. Guys, we're number 67 on dailies. What? Guys, we're only like 4,000 diamonds away from number 66. Oh no. Do I have that guy that like, he's always spamming me like crazy? When those like Syrian, like one battle. Oh no, here we go. She needs to stop doing that. She really needs to stop mocking people that live in other parts of the world. It's not cute. She did it on the live stream yesterday. She did it with Musa. It's becoming a pattern. I mean, I don't even know if becoming is the right word. It's a pattern, Eugenia. Just because someone has an accent or lives in another part of the world, that doesn't mean you need to go and mock them. Honestly, I mean, the mocking, it's very childish on its own. But what I really... <laughs> What I really found distasteful was when she was in the live battle with Jeffrey and the guy from Romania and Jeff and Eugenia said, oh, yeah, is that your Romanian boyfriend? Like whenever you're in the mood for that. Why do we have to be putting people from other countries in a box like that and fetish fetishizing them? Just, uh, it, it's not kind. It, it's not wonderful. It's not amazing, Eugenia. I wish that she would stop talking about people from other countries like this. I, I mean, really? Oh, gosh. Is it one of those people from Syria trying to get on here with me? And they go, one battle, one battle. Always I, I... spamming me like crazy. When does like Syrian, like, one battle... Oh no. She she needs to quit doing that. Oh, here we go. Guys, I'm not begging for anything. I'm just saying thank you. You know, there's been so much love tonight. I can't say thank you enough to like, oh my gosh, guys, the MVP of TikTok, Jeffrey Star. He's the best ever. Ollie Oblox, everyone that's been showing like so much love. Stalker Sarah, how are you? What's up, Sarah? Thank you so much with the hearts. So it's like, sometimes I just also, I do want to just like th say thank you. Like imagine if I was just like sitting here not thanking people. I, I know you'd be completely silent because you have nothing else to talk about. Or the makeup. I feel like that would be like so much worse. Just saying. Barbie Shan, I appreciate all the clappers so much. You're amazing. Thank you so much. I know my veins popping out. I mean, probably you guys, sometimes my veins are kind of visible. And I know like there's some people that go so crazy, like your veins. But I think like some people's veins just kind of show a lot sometimes, you know? 
I don't really think it's a huge deal. It's just kind of whatever. It's just kind of whatever. I think that some people's veins just show. Everyone has veins. Some of you are really crazy about my veins. I don't think it's a big deal. I think that this is where we're going to end it. Um, yeah, I think that that's where we're going to end it. So if you made it to the end, thank you for making it to the end. Um, I'll see you next time. <laughs>